Hi, I'm here trying to make this a quick video. I'm here to talk to you about changing the blower motor on a 96 Dodge Ram van. This is the B2500. Um, the first thing you have to do is you have to understand where your blower motor is. It is directly under this box <laughs> right here. Now it is very hard to get in and out. As you can see, I've been got the old one out and I pull my transmission thing out trying to get it out. Um, I also have a cracked alternator here, but I'll worry about that later. First thing you have to do, you have to pull this hose off. Right here. This is your air hose, your breather hose, I believe. And it connects right back there. Then you have three screws to pull out. Now, each one of these screw, screws, they're the really small screws. These take one quarter inch. Now, for me to get out this top one that was up here, it was a pain. What I had to do is, if you have a shorter extension than this, it would work better. And possibly a smaller ratchet. But all I have is my large ratchet here. And what I had to do is I had to have this part on the ratchet, on the wrench here, on the ratchet with an adapter and the quarter inch and I had to angle that wrench in because there's not a lot of room here to get that in there and once I loosened it up to where I could screw it out by hand you know I took the ratchet off grabbed this by hand and just twist it by hand to get that out now the other two you don't really need this you can use it just like this and my advice is on the bottom one be really careful because there is a edge right there that will get you if you're not careful now I was not got but once I got these out there is a hose on the bottom you have to remember to hook this back up and this is the old one you can see the new one's still in the box now getting this in and out is a royal pain in the ass um, this here has to be pulled more or less out of the way and you have to kind of shimmy it out then you have to bring it clear to the back right back here and then squeeze it between here and your transmission tube here for your um, transmission fluid and you have to bring it out and bring it out this way it is a royal pain in the butt Getting the new one in is probably going to be just as bad uh, because it has to go in this hole. Let me see if I can show you the hole. And see, here's the old one. In there. And that's where it has to go. So getting these in and out are a complete pain, especially getting in and out of that hole. And the way I had to get that out is I actually had to move this with my hand right here while wiggling the other one out to get that out. It is such a pain in the butt. Now getting this other one on is going to probably be just as bad because it has these rubber gaskets on it that have to stay in place. And if that gasket slips you can be in trouble anyway that is where the blower motor is this is how you get it out and preferably you get your new one in without hurting yourself um, it has to squeeze through right back here right in through here and then squeeze in here and it has to angle and then it has to be pushed in like this let me show you it goes in like this and has to be pushed in like that and it's difficult anyway I just wanted to show you um, because there's nothing on YouTube about the Dodge Ram I do have the 5.2 liter this is not the 1500 it's the B2500 Ram van it's the 5.2 liter engine all right and it is such a royal 
pain in the ass. I can't tell you how much work this is to get a blower motor out because the way this is built, all these lines are absolutely in the way of your hands. And these are air conditioning lines. And so you can't cut them and hook them or anything like that. This line is in the way. And of course, this is in the way. And they're right here. This, this one piece of plastic that covers your fan, that's definitely in the way. So it is real difficult to get to but you can do it if you just take your time. Um, all you gotta do is get these three screws out. Now remember, this is one quarter inch. So if you're taking these other screws out down here, I don't know if you can see them. Um, I'm gonna try to get these screws in. Uh, you, I don't know if you can see the screw down there. If you're taking that screw out, you're taking the wrong screw out. It's the little bitty ones one quarter inch the other ones are bigger so if your your socket here fits on your screws you're on the wrong screws all right that's it i'm fixing to go i gotta try to get this new one in get it hooked up and remember once you get all this done there is a hose down there somewhere that has to be hooked up and it goes right to here down there on the bottom and then it goes to the bottom of your blow motor and I absolutely the hose fell and I gotta find my hose but I will find it no worries um, if you can get the hose off first because it does go right to there and right to um, there I don't know if you can see that all right, that's it. I'm fixing to go. I have this phone hooked up to this battery pack in my back pocket. You can, you know, see the cable here so the phone doesn't die so I can share this with you. Make sure you have your hose. And that thing is a royal pain once it falls. And mine did fall. So now I have to find my hose, which is going to be difficult to do because, well, I'm standing on the ground and it's a pain to see down in there. But don't, no worries, I'll find it. Anyway, that's it. That's how you get your blower motor out. And how you have to get your blower motor in is the exact opposite. And it is a royal pain in the ass. But this is for the Dodge Ram B2500 van, a 1996. Now a lot of them do have the blower motor accessible very easily right under here and you can see this isn't one of them all right that's it i'm fixing to go everyone have a good day and i'll find my hose and get this all back together and don't forget to put your hose back on but um the hose that goes to the blow motor i gotta find it it's only a little short like <laughs> three four inch piece it's down in there somewhere. And in fact, I think I might see it. Anyway, that's it. Everyone have a good one. Bye.